Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're looking at how to earn lots of caps easily in the game. So if you guys do find this useful, a like would be really appreciated on the video, it really helps me out. And make sure you go and check out the playlist in the description with lots of other Fallout 76 guides, including one I did yesterday on how to level up faster. So make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already. But anyway, let's get into the video. So there's lots of ways to go about earning caps. My favourite way so far is to go to a place called Point Pleasant, as I'll show you on the map. And that has the Mothman Museum nearby. What you want to do, go there, and next to it there'll be a big Mothman statue. Quite creepy if I'm honest. And at the base of the statue there's going to be lots of little Mothman eggs. So you want to pick those up, gather all those all around, and then you want to come down to the river front, around a table under a tent near the river, there'll be more eggs. Pick up all of those. Now, the good thing about these is they will obviously respawn every time you come back to the area, which is good and they don't have a massively great value but there are quite a few tips you can use to increase their value and obviously you can just sell those and easily get lots of caps so how do we actually go about you know bumping up the price well the first thing is we want to level up charisma the reason why we want to level up charisma is because it gives you better selling price for vendors so under the charisma tab you've got a perk called hard bargain and this is going to improve the value you get when you trade so what i mean by this is that if you're buying anything it's going to be cheaper for you and if you're selling anything it's going to be more expensive so you get more caps for it and that's what we want if possible you want to try and level this up all the way to level three because that will give you a much better selling value if you've got a better selling price at the vendors you're going to get more for each egg you get on a side note if you are able to it's also good to level up luck because that means you can have a higher chance of finding stuff including caps if you're ever looking around in chests and that kind of thing so if you're ever looting around leveling up luck is good because you get more caps but that's just a little side note in terms of this method though another perk you can use is the perception perk known as green thumb and that's really good because it doubles the amount of harvest you get from flora so in this case it's the moth eggs and what we're going to do is we're going to get double as many because of this green thumb perk. So if you equip that, once you've got it, it'll be very good because instead of around 20 to 30 eggs, you're looking at more like 50 to 60. So instantly doubling what you get from this procedure. So that's really, really good. Once you've actually gotten those eggs, you can then either leave that area, go away and come back a little bit later because it all will have respawned again. So you can just collect more of them. Or on the other hand, for people that really want to farm it out, you can obviously just leave the world and come back and join a new server and when you do that it's going to put you into the place you last were so right by where those eggs are and then you can just collect them all again now you could go and sell them to the vendors at this point because okay we've increased the amount of money we get for them but that's not enough because you can actually get even more money i think the value of the eggs are around 15 caps per egg but if you cook them you'll get almost 40 caps for an egg and here's what you do so what you want to do is get all your eggs, once you've collected a lot of them, you then want to go over to a cooking station and you will have needed to collect some wood. It's not that difficult and I have a guide soon for how to collect resources like wood if you guys don't know how to do that. So once you've got some wood and your eggs, you want to go over to the cooking station and you want to cook the Mothman egg omelettes. And by doing this, like I said, they're worth almost 40 caps just for one and we've collected almost 60 of them. So you can see where I'm going with this, you know, it's really, really valuable and the good thing about this as well is that at the same time you get lots of xp from cooking all these eggs it gives you a lot of xp now we've collected all our eggs we've cooked them all into omelettes we've leveled up our charisma and we've got a perk which means it sells for a better price at the vendors if you go over to the vendors you're still only going to get offered around i think it was six caps i got offered for an egg so i thought okay that's not really enough so what you can actually do is eat one of the omelets because one of the benefits it gives you is <laughs> increasing charisma again so if you increase that even more it will bump it up to I think seven caps and I think that effect lasted for over half an hour or an hour I tried having another omelet but it didn't increase the amount of caps you'd get for the omelets even more so what I then tried is I had a bottle of beer in my inventory so I chugged that down and that gives you extra charisma and then it increased the price again to eight caps so you know like I said if I'd leveled up that charisma hard bargain card I probably would have got at least 10 caps for it if not more and I'm sure there's other ways you can increase your charisma to you know get more value for them as well but I was able to get easily eight caps for them and then I sold them all now unfortunately the vendor only had 200 caps but that was a good 200 caps right there didn't even take that long to do this all and whereas I see other guides saying oh you know get all of the stuff and sell whatever you want the problem is in game that doesn't actually work because a vendors will only have 200 caps at the same time and I've tried going around to lots of different vendors and unfortunately they all kind of share the same pool of money so if you sell something to one you can't then sell any more for a while because 
they don't have any more caps so I can't find another way to you know make it any quicker I think you just have to wait for a while and then come back and sell some more which I know is not ideal but the amount of time you're actually putting into making these amount of caps it's not long at all so you can get 200 caps time easily just by doing that so do that wait for a little bit come back and sell them again uh, I did try exiting the world and coming back again but that doesn't seem to have an effect yeah if anyone knows a way to refresh the rate at which vendors get more money then please let me know but yeah, so that's going to get you lots of caps right there. If there wasn't that limit, you could get thousands and thousands easily. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Now, the thing is, if you just keep these omelettes in your inventory, eventually they're going to go off. So if you don't sell them quick enough, they will go off. And obviously that can be a problem because you've just spent all that time making those omelettes. So what do you do? If you unlock the good with salt perk, which is under the luck category, it's going to make sure that your food will spoil less quickly. So if you have it level one, which is what I had in this instance, it's going to mean that your food will spoil 30%, i.e. a third more slowly. But if you increase that to level three, you're going to get it 90% slower. So that is a good way to make sure your food doesn't go off too quickly and you can sell it on, you know? Guys, the last thing to say quickly, that's the guide. And if you want to check out my video from yesterday, although that's going to help you level up faster, it's also got a good way to get caps. So make sure you check that out as well for even more caps that doesn't involve selling stuff. All right, guys, hope you found this useful. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Consider subscribing for more Fallout 76 and Call of Duty videos. And I'll see you all on the next one.